Fast Blue Sky für Sky in Hollywood. Am Sonntag werden wir die Sky-Gewinner Hannes und Emanuel zu den Golden Globes begleiten. Vorher kommen aber noch ein paar Nominierte zu Wort. Ladies first. I know your whole story. In Destroyer hat Nicole Kidman Mut zur Hässlichkeit. Who is it? No ID, no idea. We have a term in the German language that oh, is called... Teach me. That is called, it translates roughly into courage for ugliness. Meaning mm. not shying away from taking on right. a part and really like, you know, just really How do you the say part. that? Mut zur Hässlichkeit. Mut zur Hässlichkeit. No, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> so that's amazing that you have that in your language. Yes. So great that there's an actual term for it. You're doing this in Destroyer. Because it's truth. It's the truth of the character. It's the ravaged um, way in which when someone doesn't care how they look. And I have a line in the film which is actually the reason I, w I grasped onto looking like this is that she says, I don't care what happens to me. That's a very deep thing to say and mean it. To really not care is makes you a very dangerous person. I'm mad, I'm still mad. It's burned a circuit in my brain. So the idea of looking like, you know, good skin and white teeth, no. I mean, that's not, that would have been completely false. And I actually find that frustrating in films when characters don't go The distance. Olivia Colman ist für die Rolle der Queen Anne in The Favorite nominiert. Ihre Kolleginnen Rachel Weiss und Emma Stone sind ebenfalls im Rennen. Aber es gab nicht nur menschliche Co-Stars in dieser historischen Farce, sondern 17 Hasen. Und das war eine etwas nasse Sache, wie sich herausgestellt hat. Oh, I loved it. The, it turns out they wee all the time. <laughs> so lying in bed, you could feel it. Oh, there's a wee. Just sort of seeping under the, so the costume was a bit, uh, a bit soggy. The bed was quite <laughs> unpleasant. But I, I like animals. I enjoyed it. The Queen is an extraordinary person. They were all staring, weren't they? I can tell even if I can't see. And I heard the word fat, fat Anne. and ugly. No one but me would dare, and I did not. She's been stalked by tragedy. Everyone leaves me. He dies. Emma Stone spielte im Film weniger mit den Kanickeln als mit ein paar adeligen Herren und zeigte sich sehr offenherzig. I hoped I might be employed here by you as something. A monster for the children to play with, perhaps. You saw my boob this morning. We're very bonded now. And your bum. A yeah, little yeah. bit. Yeah, baby. Bro! I'm on my side. Always. I gotta talk about the rabbits. Who doesn't? <laughs> you know, those little, those little buggers. They, um, they were very, they were very adorable. But when there's 17 rabbits on a wood floor in a room and have to be set free, it's a, it's a rough, uh, it's a rough thing trying to gather them all back up. Melissa McCarthy ist für Komödien bekannt, aber es ist das Drama Can You Ever Forgive Me, das ihr eine Nominierung brachte. Sie spielt darin die erfolglose Schriftstellerin Lee Israel, die durch Unterschriftenfälschung berühmt wurde. Yeah, I can definitely get a lot more for this one. I mean, the PS makes it priceless. Have you ever forged anything? I am pretty sure I forged a note From, I don't think I've ever said that. I don't think they know. From my parents, when I may have not gone to school for one day, because someone went like, it was like senior free day, and I was not a senior, and I still tried to go to the party, and then I, I forged a letter the next day saying I was sick. Julia Roberts hat mit dem Achteiler Homecoming zum ersten Mal eine TV-Serie angenommen. Eine Art Sci-Fi-Thriller von Mr. Robot-Produzent Sam Ismail. When Sam Ismail came into the mix and he reached out to me and we just had a great um, connection right off the bat and we bring to it such different things that I was excited to try to 
you know, do my part to make his part go. Wird Roberts den Golden Globe gewinnen? Leicht möglich. Aber was wir nicht versprechen können, ist ein so interessanter Tischnachbar wie beim letzten Mal. Da saß sie neben einem wahren Superstar. I remember that actually really clearly, obviously, because it's Paul McCartney. I sat between Paul McCartney and Ron Meyer, and um, he, I think, has really um, managed to create an energy that comforts people because you don't want to scream like you're watching the Ed Sullivan show, but you do. And so he makes you feel like it's all going to be okay. We're going to get through this together. And he's delightful and lovely. Für Sky sind wir die ganze Woche rund um die Golden Globes in Hollywood unterwegs mit unseren Gewinnern Hannes und Emanuel. Folgt uns online und auf Social Media.